Like I said, uh, it's nothing special. All right. Yeah. It's See, solid. Yeah. I'm pretty much still five. Actually, my first one rather. So I think oh, cool. you are I think basically, cool. yeah. We Welcome to Game Castle in Fremont. Uh, different venue, different audio, commentary. So, this is round one. Okay. Uh, same old camera. Players you know. David, that's me. I'm on the left. And uh, London. Okay, so uh, who you also should be familiar with. Uh, my yeah. list is the Kamari, Khan, and so you, and you Joachim, uh, Enterprise A with the Tokat booster, game. that's the not mirror Forcha. Uh, we'll get into more specifics as we go. Uh, London's build, very interesting. Fed Defiant, DeSoto for a bunch of rerolls. Paris, Riker, improved deflector screen, uh, Type 8 upgraded, systems upgrade, very defensive. Uh, the Bortos with uh, Captain Admiral Gowron, Dishonorable Tactics, a Modigod, and then the Bioship Booster. Basically, he got the best of everything. Uh, so, early on, uh, this is all just basic setup. The Enterprise gets the Kumari brought in to start the game. The uh, Defiant gets the Bortos brought in. And uh, now it's just kind of a race for the center combat. Uh, we check to see if anything's going to happen on round one, at least from the Defiance movement. The answer there is no, but the Kumari has yet to move. So I have Captain Advantage, DeSoto, and Gowron, skill 4, 5, I think actually with Forest on the Defiant, he goes up to skill 5 and 5. Um, but then the A is a skill 7, and the Kamari is a skill 8. A skill 7 because of Crew Kirk being brought back down by Decker. And then the Kumari will also do a So, the A, of course, does a scan action. Uh, it's got Mr. Spock on it as well. So just more need to scan on that A. The, the, the A is always going to scan. If it has the opportunity to perform an action, it is going to scan. And the Kumari comes in here... Okay. This finds out it's at range three, meaning we're going to have combat from the get-go. And I do have battle stations because I have crit con. This is skill eight con, came on the Reliant pack. I have Yoakim. Uh, this isn't for good play. This is because we have theme builds at this venue. And uh, the way theme works is if you're the best build within a theme, you get a prize pack. Uh, they have two kits, so five prizes go out, and there were nine players here. Uh, and there were three different themes you could do. We'll get into those after we see combat. Kamari fires in, and... Uh, it gets two hits, and then the battle station makes it a crit. Doesn't matter on the defiant, it's obviously it's, not going to matter okay, so because because the defiant has, has, uh, has shields, so has improved happens. deflector. You modify my dice. Okay. I have no crits. And then I modify my dice. And now I have a crit. Okay, okay. I can buy that again. And there I explain to okay, London so how... The Defiant turn order matters, and how Khan actually circumvents the ruling of the Defiant, and that it can make the Defiant take crits. It's not going to matter, but uh, it, it can actually make it happen. So he gets the role he needs, and uh, I'm going to get absolutely nothing back. And now he gets to fire back at me, and uh, this is where it gets I was ugly. Making sure. 
Yeah, with the battle station, he ends up with five hits. And I've got my two defense dice because of range. Because I spent my battle station, I've got nothing. Three shields. And you have no crits. So I've just got uh, two damage, meaning I've got two whole points left. Yeah, this ship's going down next round. Now, am I within range two of this? You're just kind of going, oh, no. And, no. and to make matters more complicated, the Defiant is within range of that mission token, the objective token. So he has to bring in his bio ship, and I'm not within range of my objectives. I don't get to bring in my mirror. This is bad news. So he moves his bio ship up. I perform general orders because I go, hey, the Kamari, it wants battle stations. Uh, I was planning a, a one bank, maybe even a three come about at this point. And I'm going, okay, hey. And now he does the Bioship Omega pilot, and I flip over a direct hit, and you can see the disgust in my motions. I I'm not mad at London. I'm just the 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 game, and uh, thankfully he reminds me to I stab at thee. No, those are So I get two hits in on him. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he could have easily said, no, you pulled your piece off and that's that. Uh, and I wouldn't have been able to stop him. I, you know, I pulled the ship off. That, that's that. Uh, so now I'm completely reeling. I, this is I, I'm now down to one ship and I have to figure out how to bring my my mirror booster onto the board uh, at this point I'm targeting probably one of the objectives on the opposite side of the board on his starting area just because if I try to come towards camera and get the one uh, near Kirk and Scotty's cards uh, he's going to be right on me He's going to surround me. But if I go behind him, I've got a shot. And uh, that gives me a, a chance. A, a, a chance to be behind him. And uh, we'll see what happens. He's just piling tokens on. Uh, because he's got Admiral Gowron, he gets a free battle station every round, basically. Um, so he gets that, plus his evade. Yes. And then he general orders because he's got that as well. I get uh, a Valeris. Uh, I get a Valeris evade because I do a green action, which is a great card. You know, it's something we talked about a bunch when the when the game came out. I can hit you. Or not when the game came out, but when the card came out, and yet I've seen almost no one run it. Uh, I do believe Todd runs it, and you'll see that uh, later on. In, an, in this okay, tournament. So my actual action. So look forward to that. And of course, I scan because well, I have to. This may be a very quick game. Uh, I'm okay with so I'll switch back to themes uh, real quick. Uh, the themes for this month were uh, Penalty Pier, because that's kind of a standard one. Uh, if you want to go Penalty Pier, you can. Uh, we also had uh, BFFs. So uh, if you had two pairs of BFFs, uh, one on each ship, that constituted a theme build. Uh, that's where my build actually fits in, uh, as well as being penalty pier. But I, I opted to go for the, the BFF side of it. So I've got uh, Kirk and Spock, as well as Khan and Joaquin. Or Joachim. Because now I'm definitely not in range. Figured the so, blood oath and I will avenge you. 
uh, w- w- was uh, enough to call it a, a BFF thing. Uh, Joachim's loyalty to Khan. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's there. Um, and then there was also a leader. You had to uh, have the leader of a faction, and then that had to be on a uh, ship pier ship. So... So it's three naturally. You could have uh, Gowron or Martok. Uh, you could have Goldukat. Uh Fed didn't really have it because you don't have the president of Earth. Uh, or the Fe- or the Federation president there. Oh my God, you're right. Romulans oh, yeah, got tricky. Okay, I guess Shinzon would fit that. Well, but yeah. legal. Okay. Oh, right. Sela will definitely fit it when it comes out. Oh, no. Uh, and this is so my best role bot? on the A all day. Does that? Okay. So you roll six. Uh, which is Four. five. Yeah. The downside is I had to throw it into a cloaked ship. Okay, so that is all I hated. Um, I will take the... Um, and he rolls uh, very, very poorly, but he gets the Bortos's named ability to re-roll a defense die, and he locks into an evade, and then he's got the evade token. No, you have that. But so now he's kind of looking at okay, two hits, two crits. That's one safe. But if he if he takes a direct hit or a minor explosion, he might direct hit. He definitely goes boom. Then he's dead. Uh, But he spins his battle station token as well. And then he just takes an ox. Uh, because of the crit and a warp core warp breach. Core breach. <laughs> so Yay. that's, that's what the this game really means. not going to matter. Warp core uh, and now he gets okay, three ships to fire got back. Nine durability. And, you've got three uh, and he's got right shots of five <laughs> dice, five dice, and six okay, dice. So um, two of which have quality. Yeah, the five uh, dice and six yeah, dice yeah, have yeah, battle yeah, stations yeah, quality. Um, I have nine durability. I'm gonna not talk and let the dice do the talking. Five hits. Hard. Two. Uh, and before I'm sure, I need to four hits. Four shields. How many shields do you have? Five shields. Yeah. This system is upgraded. So next is your a, crazy eye Galron. Target lock. Save the better base, so it's gonna hurt. <laughs> like this one. Oh. Five. Oh, come on. Five. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh. Galron go. is battle stations plus another action on the so, yeah. action. It's, that's what I will that? make it to a battle plus another action. Oh, uh, one hit, 30 two minutes remaining. So, two, two, two. 30 minutes remaining. Uh huh. Yeah, it, it We're not going to need it. No. It's the, no. He, Bioship Omega Captain, direct hit. Kill. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Communications <laughs> failure! I have skill negative one. what I've been doing a lot because of Decker. Because of Decker. And my other crit, minor hole breach. Red maneuver. Red maneuver, roll a die. Okay, two hole left. Well, let's see if I can land two to fire. Um, I'd be shocked if you couldn't. So, shocked. So both of these get the uh, get the first that's, shot. Yeah, that's, and I'm just that's deciding. Yes, yes. Uh, 
Yep. Do I take? Okay. How many? You know, with uh, one, two, three, and then two. Right. Okay. Gives you the option to set up. I'm not sure. Jocelyn Navigator and console fire. I would hope the Navigator's a little Jocelyn. Of course, he's dead. He's dead. All right. And then what the guy that I'm going to be. And that is how you lose a match in two rounds of combat. Or how you lose a match in four shots. Yeah. I, uh, that was brutal. That was thorough. I did everything wrong in that match. I positioned wrong. I did not get the mirror booster out. And that gave him every advantage. Even if I had gotten the booster out, it only would have prolonged the inevitable. Um, there was nothing I could have done. Uh, he rolled fantastically well. But my dice rolled pretty well, too. There's kind of a point, you know, we were just two pretty good fleets that ran into each other. There's something to be said about how you are able to play through bad things. And, and the best thing that happened was that this game was short, ended up taking 30 minutes because we had to spend time at the beginning getting all of our scenario rules straight. But I had about 25 minutes after this match was over to regroup, to, to kind of just flush this whole match from my memory and go into round two, which you'll see on camera for me. And you'll see on camera for London as well. We play different people. Yeah, that's the beauty of a two-camera system now. But the way round two goes is so different. And we both play really interesting games. And uh, I think that's the best way to put it. So uh, I did not play to this scenario at all. And it so much hurt me. I was able to figure it out. So I used round one to learn and uh, I went from there. So hopefully, even though this match was short, there's something here uh, that you can learn from. If nothing else, it's short and you can laugh and understand that uh, sometimes I get my pants beat off and uh, I can sit here and, and laugh along with you guys. So. Uh, Anyways, that's it for me, and uh, until next match, we'll see you around the shipyard. Take care, guys.